Assalamu alaikum. Our today's topic is the cartilage. This is the part one of the cartilage. The part two will be discussed later on. And I am your associate. In this lecture, we'll introduce what is the cartilage, what are the types of the cartilages, and where they are located in the body, and what are the histological features of the hyaline cartilage, and the few photomicrographs of the hyaline cartilage. Cartilage is a special form of the connective tissue, which comprised of the cells, the extracellular matrix, and the fibers, like any other type of the connective tissue. In cartilage, the cells, they are called the chondrocytes, and the fibers, they are type 2 collagen fibers, and the matrix is highly specialized matrix, which forms the 95% of the extracellular volume of this uh, cartilage, and it is firm, pliable, which accounts for its resilience. The large amount of the uh, 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 glycosaminoglycans, they are present in this extracellular matrix uh, uh, along with the type 2 collagen fibers, but the ratio of the glycosaminoglycans is more than the type 2 collagen fibers. And this uh, uh, composition, it enables uh, the matrix to permit the diffusion of the substances between the blood vessels in the surrounding connective tissue and the chondrocytes of the matrix, thus maintaining the viability of the tissue. Cartilage is an avascular tissue. It is nourished by the diffusion of the nutrients from the capillaries in the adjacent connective tissue, which is the perichondrium, or from the synovial fluid in the joint cavities, and it lacks the lymphatic vessels and the nerves also. There are three types of the cartilages, the hyaline cartilage, the elastic cartilage, and the fibrocartilage, which we'll discuss uh, one by one. The cartilage is, uh, has a wide distribution in the body, and there are these three types of the cartilages, they are distributed in the body. And you uh, first see the uh, this color code, this um, uh, turquoise color is the hyaline cartilage, the red one is the fibrocartilage, and the magenta one is the elastic cartilage. Now you can uh, see that the hyaline cartilage is the most numerous cartilage in the whole of the body. It is uh, located in the tip of the nose, which is the movable portion of your nose, and then uh, these costochondral junctions, uh, and all the of the ribs and all the articular surfaces of the synovial joints. You must be familiar with the synovial joints up till now. So it is covering the articular surfaces of all the synovial joints. Then is the laryngeal cartilages uh, and then trachea, the main bronchi and the segmental bronchi. They are all hyaline in nature. So you can see here the appearance of this hyaline cartilage histologically. Now, this uh, red one is the fibrocartilage. The fibrocartilage is present in all the intervertebral discs and the pubic symphysis. The menisci of the knee joint, they are fibrocartilage in cartilaginous in nature. Then the elastic one, the magenta one, uh, is the external auditory uh, meatus and the pinna of the ear. They are the el elastic cartilages and this epiglottis of the laryngeal cartilages is also elastic in nature. So this is the photomicrograph of the uh, elastic cartilage. So first we will discuss the hyaline cartilage in detail. So the word hyalose comes from a Greek word which means the glass-like and the most common of the three types is the homogeneous and the semi-transparent in the fresh state. So in adults, they are located in the articular surfaces of synovial joints, the nose, the larynx, the trachea, and the bronchi, the ventral ends of the ribs, the epiphyseal plates of the long bones. And in embryos, the hyaline cartilage forms the temporary skeleton that is replaced by the bone. Hyaline cartilage is composed of two types of the cells, that is the chondrocytes and the chondroblast cells. The chondroblast cells, they are the elliptical cells which are present just uh, below the perichondrium and they are the immature cells or the stem cells for the uh, 
uh, chondrocytes. Later in the matrix, in the, they are the mature cells. They are present in a space which is called the lacunae. They are the chondrocytes. Now the collagen fibers, they are the type 2 fibers which are embedded in a firm hydrated gel of these proteoglycans. The most uh, important proteoglycans, they are the chondritin sulfate and the keratin sulfate. And the glycoproteins, uh, the cartilage matrix important glycoprotein is the chondronectin. This chondronectin protein is very important which binds the glycosoaminoglycans, the collagens and the integrin uh, mediates it, the, its adherence of the chondrocytes to the extracellular matrix. So you can see the arrangement of this uh, linker proteins and the central core proteins and the glycosoaminoglycans uh, with the collagen fibers, how they are uh, arranged with, between the collagen fibrils. Now this is a photomicrograph showing you the hyaline cartilage and this is a, a diagrammatic picture. And you can see here that they, this is this uh, structure or the, this uh, layer of the cells, uh, it is the perichondrium. This perichondrium consists of the uh, dense regular connective tissue and it is made up of the collagen fibers and the fibroblast. So this uh, perichondrium here, the fi uh, this, uh, uh, these are the fibroblasts of the perichondrium and just below the fibroblast there are the chondroblast cells which also lie horizontally just below the perichondrium. You can see here these are the chondroblast cells, they are also elliptical. Now these chondroblast cells, they can give rise to the chondrocytes and they are these stem cells for the cartilage cells. So in the central matrix, there are present is the chondrocytes, and you can see here the chondrocytes. They these chondrocytes they have an inverted uh, D-shaped uh, structure, and uh, the, the with the eccentric nucleus. Lot of the mitotic activity is uh, you can see here these lot of the mitotic activity. So these chondroblasts they they secrete a lot of the extracellular matrix. And then they give rise to the, uh, the by mitotic division, these uh, D-shaped structures, which are the chondrocytes. Now, these chondrocytes, they are present in a space which is called the lacunae. Now, you can see here, there are the two types of the uh, matrix found here. This uh, matrix, which is uh, close to these chondrocytes, is uh, different in staining, and it is called the territorial matrix. And the matrix between the chondrocytes is called the interterritorial matrix and it has the different staining. This, this is because the territorial matrix is rich in the glycosoaminoglycans and attaches these chondrocytes to the extracellular matrix. So it stains differently from this interterritorial matrix. So the characteristic feature of the hyaline cartilage is that, that these mature cells of the cartilage, the chondrocytes, they not lie singly, but they are aggregated in the groups of two, four, or eight. So these groups, they are called the isogenous groups. So this is the characteristic feature of the hyaline cartilage, which make it distinguishing, uh, distinguished from the elastic cartilage and the fibrocartilage, that it has the uh, uh, chondrocytes, which are arranged in the groups called the isogenous groups. Now, this is a very important slide of the trachea. Now, trachea, you can you know that this trachea has a C-shaped cartilage rings, which makes the trachea patent or open. And this uh, C-shaped cartilages are uh, made up of the hyaline cartilage. Now, this hyaline cartilage, you can see here that this is the perichondrium layer above it and the perichondrium layer below it. And you can see the row of the horizontal cells lying just below this perichondrium, which are the chondroblast cells. And in the center, there is the uh, isogenous groups of the chondrocytes embedded in the uh, homogeneous matrix. And uh, this uh, transparent or high loss like matrix, which is basophilic. And this is the surrounding the, the chondrocytes is the territorial matrix. And in between is the interterritorial matrix. 
Now, this slide of the trachea is very important and you can identify it with the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium and below the hyaline cartilage. Then it's, uh, if there is a pseudo, you can uh, identify the pseudostratified epithelium and look for the hyaline cartilage. And if there is below is the hyaline cartilage, it is sure of the trachea. So this perichondrium, as we have discussed, this perichondrium is a dense sheet uh, of connective tissue that surrounds the cartilage in most places and it forms an interface between the, uh, the cartilage and the uh, uh, tissue supported by the cartilage. So it harbors, uh, as you know, that the cartilage is avascular, so it harbors all the blood vessels, uh, the nerves and the lymphatics and these chondrocytes which are present in the matrix, they are nourished by the blood vessels from the perichondrium. Now this is uh, the diagram showing you that how these chondroblasts, they are transformed into the chondrocytes. The chondroblast cells, they are the immature cells as the blast name suggests and they are rounded, more of the rounded cells with a central nucleus. Then these chondroblast cells, they will secrete the extracellular matrix by themselves and they will divide by mitosis into the mirror shaped D cells, which uh, then it is and, uh, uh, and surrounding, uh, surrounded by a space which is called the lacuna. And then they are called the chondrocytes. And in highline cartilage, they will be present in the uh, groups or aggregates of two, four, or eight, which are called the isogenous groups. Now, this is a slide of the articular cartilage. Articular cartilage is the form of the, uh, or it is a highline cartilage, but it is uh, 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 lining the uh, synovial joints, articular surfaces of the synovial joints. So, uh, at the articular surfaces, this uh, highline cartilage is devoid of the perichondrium. And you can see here that these are all the highline cartilage and this is a bony tissue. Uh, the bony tissue and this is surrounding is the hyaline cartilage but the, it is devoid of the perichondrium. So when it is devoid of the perichondrium, so chondrocytes will uh, get their nutrition from the synovial fluid of the uh, synovial joints. And uh, I, I hope you must be familiar of the synovial joint uh, and the synovial fluid up till now. Now you can see here in the photomicrograph also, these are the isogenous groups of the hyaline cartilage identified as hyaline cartilage and these, this is a bony tissue. So it is devoid of the uh, uh, perichondrium. So it is called the articular cartilage which is of the hyaline variety. Now this is all about of the hyaline cartilage. We'll talk later uh, about the elastic cartilage and the uh, fibrocartilage later on in the uh, uh, next uh, presentation of the connective tissue, uh, the cartilage part two. Thank you.